In Herbert Hoover's lifetime, he was known as one of the most competent and incompetent men on the planet. As a young man, Hoover was a famous mining engineer, organizing operations around the world. He was also an amazing philanthropist. <laughs> President Wilson recruited him to organize food aid to Europe during World War I. Presidents Harding and Coolidge asked him to organize the economy as the Secretary of Commerce, and the economy boomed. He was the easy choice for president in 1928, especially after the popular Calvin Coolidge chose not to run for re-election. Which gets us to the negative stuff. Hoover was a different kind of Republican progressive. He thought social problems could be attacked scientifically, but he didn't want the federal government to do the attacking. The Great Depression put that philosophy to the test. As the economy collapsed in 1929, Hoover resisted a federal response. Instead, he tried to collect data and coordinate the efforts of states, charities, and companies to turn things around. When things kept getting worse, he eventually pushed for more government spending to boost the economy, but he refused to take any action that might be unconstitutional. Hoover was a brilliant organizer, but a terrible politician. It might not be fair, but he'll always be remembered for paralysis in the face of economic disaster.